When you confront an envious narcissist for what they've done to you, here's what will happen. First, I just wanted to thank everyone who took the time to watch this video. I'd like to ask you to send this video to any of your friends or family members to help this channel grow. If this is your first time here, please sign up so you don't miss any updates that you might find interesting. Let's begin. Narcissists are toxic people. All of their relationships have ended badly, and they only say bad things about their ex-partners, telling you how bad all of their exes were. In fact, the same thing will also be true for you. Whenever there is a problem, they will quickly change their minds. Since you aren't the only one, they might not call you by your first name. They don't care who they're talking to because the crap they say to everyone is the same. He or she calls you babe, hun, darling, or something similar. Strangely enough, most people melt when they're called that way. Covert narcissists and classic narcissists have a lot in common, like having a big ego and not caring about other people. On the other hand, covert narcissists don't show these traits in a clear way. They are mostly passive. Covert narcissism is also called vulnerable narcissism or hypersensitive narcissism because the person's arrogance is often disguised as insecurity. This is because their pride makes them feel like they are weak. What would happen if you told a narcissist what they had done to you? This is the subject we will talk about today. Covert narcissists often think that their own pain is more important than the pain of others. They might think they are the most unfortunate person, a genius who is misunderstood, or the ugliest person. But this isn't true at all because compared to the rest of the world, their pain isn't that bad, but they want people to understand how badly they have been hurt and how much pain they are in. Their default mode is fight or flight, but they almost never choose flight. Being rejected feels like an insult and an attack on them. They think everyone else is just as smart and sneaky as they are because they are so manipulative. When you think about it, if someone lies all the time and gets away with it, they will think that everyone lies and that they can't trust them. They say that they lie all the time because their lies make them feel good. So, what happens if you confront an envious narcissist head-on? I'll show you three things that could happen in today's video. 1. Defense Covert narcissists often get defensive when they are turned down for something, whether it's a job, a romantic relationship, or another kind of relationship. They tend to act like the person who turned them down is suddenly beneath them, less interesting, and something they weren't really interested in to begin with. Even if the narcissist doesn't immediately see the person who rejected them as all terrible or below them, they will still feel a lot of shame, embarrassment, and self-hatred, which is why they do this to comfort themselves. They don't have to feel the bad things they normally would, but their fears are still inside them and because they keep denying what's really going on, they feel even worse. 2. They get hurt in a way that hurts their pride. People with an overly narcissistic personality disorder say that shame, self-loathing, and humiliation are also common responses to what seems to be a very serious narcissistic injury. People with NPD often act this way, no matter how good they thought they were before. Being turned down makes them feel like worthless trash. They have trouble putting things back where they belong. If a person or group they thought was important to them turned them down, it would hurt even more. They might hurt themselves or tell the person who turned them down that if they keep getting turned down, they'll do dangerous things like kill themselves. 3. All of a sudden, they look up at the person who dare to confront them. When they are rejected in a relationship, covert narcissists are more likely to act this way. Let's say that a hidden narcissist really likes a beautiful woman who doesn't want to go out with him. Even though he didn't know her very well, in his mind, she rose in status, and the fact that she turned him down only made his romantic ideas about her stronger. He kept giving her gifts and acting like she was the perfect person for him to win over. As it turns out, this had nothing to do with the woman. Instead, it was about how he thought that because she turned him down, she was higher on the narcissistic social ladder. He thought that if he could win her, it would boost his status and make him feel better about himself, even temporarily. 
What's important is, when they get turned down, people with a narcissistic personality disorder may act in different ways, depending on the situation. People tend to blame the person who turned them down, be hard on themselves, or look up to the person who turned them down as a result. I really hope this short explanation made sense to you. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you don't want to miss any new videos on this channel in the future, consider subscribing and making sure the bell icon is on. Thank you.